Hi friends, I am Jitendra. Today we will going to see a database connector with a mule shop. So basically, what is a database connector? The database is connector which is used to connect the database and you know face the record, update the record, remove the record, or call the stored procedures. So we will going to see a database connector demonstration. First, one thing I want to tell. So database can connector can connect all the JDBC database available. For example, MySQL, Microsoft SQL, Oracle, and the Derby. There are more JDBC database. Okay. So first thing, what we are going to do today. So I will give a one brief idea on that. So like uh, we have one database called population. So in that database we have two entry. India and UK. So what we will do, uh, we will pass the country name, okay, and it will return the year and the total population, okay. So we are going to see a demo on that right now. So for that, I will create a new mule project. I will say SQL DB connector app. I will keep all the setting as a default setting. And I will say finish. So it will create a, a new application for you. You can see a mule pallet. Okay, it's an empty pallet. So first thing, what we will going to do, we will going to drag and drop HTTP listener component into the mule pallet. Okay, let's wait. Uh, will it create a flow for us? Generally, it doesn't take this much of time. Uh, there might be some process running on the background. Okay, so it has. Uh, we will going to configure the HTTP listener. Okay, we will click on the add sign and we will keep all the setting as a default setting. We will give a path as a DB. We will allow method get. Okay, that's it. That's a minimum configuration you have to do. Next thing. Like uh, we are expecting a query parameter, okay. Uh, that is a country, big country. So we will going to store that query parameter in the flow variable. Then we can generate our query dynamically. Like whatever query parameter we are getting, okay. We are okay. Uh, whatever query parameter we are getting from the uh, HTTP listener, we are going to store in flow variable. And finally, we will face the record. Uh, we will face a record from the database for particular query parameter. In this case, we will going to use a country. Let me drag and drop a variable. Okay, we will going to set a variable, and I will name the variable as a country. And now we want to read a query parameter, so uh, we can read it from message dot inbound property dot query parameter. Inbound dot you can say HTTP query params. Then finally I will say dot. Then I will say a name of the query parameter that is a country. Okay. Then finally we, uh, one more thing before I drag and drop the database connector we have to load some dependencies. So let me do one thing. I will right click on the application. I will go to build path. I will say configure build path. Under configure build path, I will say external add external jar. I will look for the SQL JDBC 4.0 jar. So this is mandatory. If you are not going to drag and uh, add this file into the uh, your build path, okay, the database will database connector will not going to connect your database. So this is the mandatory. Okay. That's, uh, now we will going. I will going to drag and drop database connector after flow variable we will do the configuration so first thing uh, we have to select the generic database so for microsoft if you want to connect to microsoft sql server you have to select a generic database configuration so i will say okay then we have to provide the url so you have to provide the jdbc url like your sql server name the port number of a sql server 
database name, username, and the password. I will simply copy and paste. Okay. And the one more thing, like you have to provide a driver, SQL Server driver name. So I will just simply copy and paste it here. And I will say test connection. If everything goes fine, so it will say text connection successful. Okay. So our test or configuration is perfect. So I will say okay. Now I will say select. So we are have we have to select the record from the database. So I will use going to use this query. So I will go to under parameterize query. So I will paste it select country year total power from power with the country equals to flow variables dot country. So whatever uh, data we are getting into query parameter we are storing into flow variable and then finally we are uh, using that flow variable into the filter condition. So it is more dynamic. Okay, let me check. Uh, okay. No, okay. This is fine. This is the minimum configuration we have to do. So now I will start the application. You can see the our application has been deployed. I am going to test some scenarios here. So first thing I will say uh, this is our URL. Uh, I will be going to sending a country equals to UK and I will use a get method. I will say send. You can see like you got a response but it is not in proper format. So what happened when, when we are sending the query to the SQL server it return back the result in the form of object. Okay. So you can see that object result here. So what we have to do, we have to turn that object into some XML or JSON. So what we can we can use object to JSON transformer here. So what this will do, this will convert your object result into JSON result. So let me save it. It has been deployed now. I will go to send it. See, now we got the response in the JSON format. Okay, now I will use the country equals to India. I will say, see, this has this written the response in less than 10 milliseconds. So it's a very fast. See, India 2005 and it is written the population. Now, other thing, I will use some other country which is not available in the database. It will respond empty data these are no data now one more thing like if you want to see the result in the form of xml you can do one thing you can use xml to object to xml just save it okay i will again use uk i will say send you will see the result in the form of xml okay it was saying total population uh, what is the total power string UK country year 2005? I will say UA India. We got a response related to India. I will say some country which is not available in a database. I will say we got an empty link list. Okay. So this is how you can use your database connector for connecting the various GDBC databases. Okay. Thanks for watching video.